everyone, this is Bonnie from Really Reasonable Ribbon and Make Time to Craft. And today I'm just sharing a quick video to show you the latest mini album that I've made. I'm kind of a newbie with mini albums and I've been looking through YouTube and trying to follow along with some other designers instructions just to get a feel for different ways to construct pages. So this is one of the albums that I made. The ribbon I used for this album came from the October Ribbon Club assortment from Really Reasonable Ribbon. And this assortment will still be available through the end of November. Um, U.S. residents can start their Ribbon Club subscription with a special deal for the October and November assortments. So if you're interested, head on over to ReasonableRibbon.com and sign up today. For this album, I used this paper collection from Echo Park Paper Company. Um, it's a Lori Whitlaw collection. And it had 12 12 by 12 double-sided papers and a sheet of stickers. Now, one thing as a newbie that I didn't take into consideration was how much paper and what I needed. I have five pages in this. Um, four would have been a lot easier with the paper with the 12 pieces of design paper because this is all I have left and I pieced together a lot as you'll see as we go through the album. So the front cover just I kind of left it simple with a little ribbon and a you know a, a bicolor bow which I love. Um, I also have some netting on the side some antique gold netting and I layered ribbon over it and used a couple of the elements from design paper and the back is pretty much the same. I, I put some ribbon across and these are just some of the design papers. Um, these also, the little embellishments also come from really reasonable ribbon. There is quite a large collection of embellishments there. There's a heart and three that match, but there's a lot of choices if you head on over and take a look. Also for, um, oh, I, do, I wanted to say I followed, kind of followed a tutorial from Scrapbook Maven on YouTube. So look that up. It, it was the, um, for her, Twas the Night Before Christmas album. And I'll say like the first three pages, I kind of followed really closely. And then I, I kind of branched off on my own for some of it. So but it's, she does a really, she has a three part tutorial, I think, and it's really good. So check that out. So I have just, I created a little pocket for the front cover and I have just a tag that I have to go in there. And I left, this is a little pocket also, so you could actually put something in there as well. So the first page and I, what I tried to do, if, if you're gonna give this as a gift, sometimes the recipient doesn't understand how the albums work. So anytime there was a flip out, I tried to put a little tag, like a ribbon tag, so they would realize it flipped open. So there's picture opportunities here and there. And I also do have little magnets to hold it closed. And each page also has an insert that opens up. That way you can put your photographs inside if you want and you don't have to worry about them scraping as they go in and out. And this is one of the things I meant. I ran out of the design paper in big enough pieces for a lot of these. So I, I pieced together a lot of stuff, but it looks good. I mean, the papers go together, so it's not a big deal. And of course I have the little ribbon pull so that you realize there's something that needs to pull out there. And also the um, binding system is the Hidden Hinge Plus binding system by Kathy Orta King. Um, it's very similar to the original binding system if you do mini albums, but it just, it lays, as you see, it lays much flatter than the original one. But the only thing you have to worry about is this is a patented system. She allows you to use it for personal use, but if you're going to sell it, you need to buy a license. So take a look for her also on YouTube and there will be a tutorial on that. So this is a, a cool one, a, like a waterfall. And there's a little pocket in here as well. And another little pullout on the top 
or you can put a picture on the back. Um, this one, I just have the belly band here and a little pull out. There's some tags here that you can put little pictures or journal on the back of and just the back. You could cover that with a picture if you want and, and it just slips under the belly band and of course another pull out for pictures. And on this one, there's another, again, a couple of tags, either pictures or journaling, whatever you prefer. And this folds out, another picture can go there. And again, I have little magnets on there. This is one that will flip up. I can put a picture here and it also flips out for another picture. Another one of the similar pullouts. Each page has the pullout. And this one we can will flip up and down. So you can really picture here, picture here. You could even cover the truck if you had extra pictures. And another pullout from the top. And you see I pieced together design paper to cover that too. Um, this one I made a pocket, so there's a little tag, little journaling spot that goes in there, and then this also flips up, so you could put a small picture here, put another picture there, and this page we have a flip up and flip out. And this is another belly band, just a different direction. And whoops, I did forgot what I did. This one also flips up. You could put little pictures here. They'll be protected. Slip it under the belly band. And uh, one other thing that I wanted to so I saw I'm not sure what video or who had done it at this point, but this is my envelope punch board that I made the little insert so that you know that there's a pull out there. I think that's a cool look instead of just the, um, the round punch that most people use. And of course this again is another, same as all the other pages that you can slide the insert in. And again, on the last page, another waterfall and another little tag that slips in the back. And a couple little tags. This is the back cover. And then I have a little pullout, which also again has a couple tags. And then the back of that and that slides in there. So there is a ton of places on this album for pictures. I would say you could probably put 50 pictures in here if you so wanted to do that. So that's it. I just want to do a quick run through, which turned out to not be that quick, but there it is. Um, I will be continuing to work on my mini album skills and I hope to show you some more real soon. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe button so you'll be notified as I put new videos out. And don't forget if you're a ribbon lover and you're not a member yet of the ribbon, monthly ribbon club at Really Reasonable Ribbon, head on over and take a look today. Thanks so much and happy crafting.